machen. Um, we'll get started right about now ish. Uh, thank you. Thanks for the welcome back. So, time doesn't start until the um, first un unskippable cutscene has played out, which is annoyingly a couple of minutes. It's so annoying, but. At least you get to see what the game is. It's pretty daft. It's pretty daft. Um, this run has 16 levels. Most of which you can get out of bounds in. Actually, I think all of them, pretty much. It's an out of bounds fest. There's just lots of holes in the geometry of the maps and stuff. He plays four characters that you unlock along the way, and they all have different skills. The purple one has a double jump, the green one has a sprint, kind of skid zip thing. Um, they're kind of two of the most important ones that are used in the speedrun, mainly. Thanks Rob, hi Rob. How you doing Rob? Um, other than that, it's just trying to do the things as fast as possible. I cut a minute off my sum of best in one run, Rob. <laughs> but the run died at the door clip at the last level where all my runs are gonna die because I got it super fast in PB. Actually, it died before that. No, it died there because I fell through with the wrong character. The like the falling through the do the floor clips, whenever I try them not in a run, they work so fast. And then when I'm in a run, they never bloody work. Uh, anyway, let's go. Let's do the run. I should be doing no resets, but I can't be arsed. So you want to be 11 seconds at the portal there. <laughs> These um, little cutscenes stop being so frequent eventually. Attitudes, hell yeah. Okay, so the first out of bounds is coming up. camera really works against you in this particular out of bounds because it gets it zooms in really awkwardly here 
Okay, that was good. That seems pretty good, actually. I think I stopped for a moment. Hell yeah, gold. And you can't mash through those end card screens to skip past them. Well, you can, but sometimes it soft locks a game. So instead you have to kind of wait for it to show up and press X on the first, or, or as quick as you can, basically. But if you mash X through the load screen, it sometimes just hard locks. <laughs> okay, so this one at the bottom of this slope, I'm going to be jumping around a wall to skip a cutscene trigger, which I did there. Then I've got to kill all these guys, which is quite slow actually. Where they show up is pretty random, they just walk around there. So you want them to hopefully be as bunched up as possible, but there's always one that's like flagging behind over at the cage, which is annoying. Now we get one of the last longer unskippable cutscenes. This is like the title sequence cutscene. So, when you unlock characters, we unlock another couple of characters along in the next few levels or so. Um, they each have placement on the D-pad to select them. So, green guy here, Eric, he's on the left D-pad. If you hold it down during cutscenes, it will immediately swap to that person upon gaining control again. So, that's what you want to do. So I'm currently holding down left on the D-pad because I'm going to be using Eric straight away. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And he has a kind of zip, I guess. Like he kind of skids, but you can only use it every couple of seconds. It's pretty fast. There it is. It was good. These jumps are horrible across those gaps. Another bloody gold, that's mad. Green right out of bounds. No, I'm going straight ahead. I'm doing a different out of bounds to what it says in my splits there. I did the um, the newer out of bounds in my PB, but I lost time because it took forever. So I'm doing the older out of bounds, which is easier but slower, but I should cut time by doing this over my PB. Which is always nice. Yeah. And I golded just to be sure. 
Oh, I forgot where I was there for a second. Green. No. I'm going to lose time here, I think. Because that was a little slow. No, definitely losing time now. Oh, fucking hell. How? How, how, how? Now it works. Wow. It didn't lose as much time as I thought that was good. <laughs> Still in the green, can't complain. If that's the biggest time loss of the run, that's fine. Hey, Leon, how are you doing? Thanks for the luck. Nice to see you. Excited for all these Resident Evil upgrades. Oh, you're w at work? Nice. Okay, let's go. You hardly have time to game? Oh, man. Well, as long as you're keeping yourself out of trouble. Whichever way that may be. RE4 remake? Yeah. That's good. Looks nice. Yeah, I like that they've um, upgraded... They upgraded RE2 Remake and RE3 re Remake, and I think Village as well, but they actually gave them separate trophy lists as well. And it's all like ray tracing and all sorts. It looks like it'll be awesome. I just downloaded the upgrades this morning. Right, I gotta focus here so that I remember what the hell I'm doing. It doesn't really matter about how fast I get round this corner here with the guy, because no matter how fast you go, you always miss the first cycle of the lift. Yeah, I downloaded exactly me too as well. Yeah. Exactly. I will eventually. See, you never make that. So it's fine. It wasn't great, but it wasn't too bad either. So I have to unlock this character here, otherwise it... You can just end the level there, but you won't unlock this purple character, which you need for the rest of the game, so... Fortunately, you have to do this. Now 
I'm just holding left on the D-pad and up on the left stick and it'll immediately swap to green to finish the level. gate clip. This is a nice one. You're not meant to be able to go through here without the colored color corresponding with the character that you're using. But you can just do that. I did this really fast in my PB as well, so kind of annoying. Like, to get up here, it's really difficult and clunky. Like that. That wasn't too bad. I will take that. That wasn't terrible. Only lost less than a second. This one I want to be using green to start. <clears throat> then this one I'm using an old route for the skip, for the main skip, because I messed up a newer one on my PB again. So if I do the old one fine, then I cut time, so. And the reason I'm doing the older one is because it's obviously easier. That was a bit slow, but... Nothing terrible. I'm holding up on the D-pad to switch to blue. jump there because there's like a little seam on the ground that you get stuck on if you just walk. Okay, this is not intended to make, but you do. Pretty nice and fast there, I have to say. So it's you're in a I'm in the void now, and obviously you have to get back in. So I'm going to climb the wall that they've so graciously put in the void for some reason. But it's very easy to fall off this wall when you try and jump off it. It well sometimes because it's so steep, just eat your jump. So that's what you want to try and avoid here. Like that's the biggest time loss potential. Like that. Perfect. 
the camera just wouldn't catch up with me there. So I couldn't see where the fuck I was. Well, that's a massive time loss. Unfortunately. Again, not as big as I thought it was going to be, but 10 seconds is still a chunk. Do, 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 do. Anyway, the biggest run killers are coming up soon anyway, so it all depends on them. I will finish this run, even if it dies. That's a little skip to get there quicker. Green and purple door clip. Alright, so this is the first run killer possibility. If you take too long. Apparently it lets you play your guitar during this cutscene, which is amazing. I'll try my best, Rob. Right, here it goes. So I want to get through this clip, through the floor, as fast as fucking possible. I swear she almost did it there. Oh, I was like halfway through there. It's just the worst. Please. There we go. I don't know how good that was. It was very long, it seemed. But compared to PB, I have no idea. It seemed a bit longer. Definitely seemed a bit longer. It could be good enough depending on how the rest goes, but... Again, fuck. That's another ten seconds. Fuck's sake. I think I would have been okay if I hadn't fallen there. That's unfortunate. Was instant. Hell yeah, that's another big one out of the way. There's one more after this in 4 3. So it's gonna all come down to that basically. 
again. Oh, get up there. For fuck's sake. Good enough. Purple and red gate clip. I can cut time in this level a little bit. talking like a second or two. So hopefully that's the case here. Nice. Oh no, I st oh I thought I'd soft locked it. I thought it's so fucked. Purple straight ahead. Okay, now I can cut time in this level too. As long as this clip at the boss goes well. <coughs> annoying. I shouldn't lose any time though, so whatever. It might even cut a couple of seconds still. So I'm getting hit intentionally here to be as close as close as possible to him for when I need to hit him. You can't speed up this part unfortunately. He just goes through his little sequence of things. And as long as you play your guitar as soon as he does this attack, then you get a chance to hit him. So I'm getting hit intentionally, because, well, I mean, it is possible to dodge the attack by jumping, but the timing of it is silly. So I just take the hit, or expect to take the hit anyway. Should be the last hit here. I think by doing the skip in the level, it breaks the boss. Because he's meant to be, like, turning around to face you to do this. Should cut time, not as much as I would like because the skip to here didn't go particularly well, so it's unfortunate.
green straight and right. My PB is so beatable if I get the door clips fast. Unfortunately, along with the 4-3 door clip thing, not only do you have to get that fast, but right after it out of bounds is like the hardest little sequence of events, like jumps that you have to do in the entire run. So it's kind of annoying. Basically, 4-3 is awful. Treasure Rangers never quit. Again, it's possible for me to cut time in this level as long as it goes pretty okay. Wasn't bad. Nice. Uh, purple go left. This is another awkward one because there's enemies here that can actually kill you. So I do like to get rid of them. Ugh, fuck off. But again, these jumps aren't the greatest to have to deal with. I think that was comparable to my PB. Yeah, a couple of seconds better, in fact. So here's the run killer. So this is where the run either dies or does not die. So I have to make sure not to clip through with the green guy like I did in the last attempt by mistake. So as long as that doesn't happen... In fact, let's just switch real quick. Oh! That was fast. That was about as good as my PB, I think. Now I just don't fuck this up. Nice! I got it! Fucking got it. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. Still a whole level to go, by the way. Blue, purple, red. Now, this isn't this isn't free by any means. This, there's a big skip that I have to perform. 
and also just not die to the bosses in general. That's fine. I am letting him swipe at me, and if he hits me on purpose, then it's... Oh, well, if he hits me, then it's fine. You just want to reduce the amount of time that he's actually trying to run at you. Okay, now the skip. Terrifying. This can mess up so easily. Just basically, if I trigger the turtle boss, then I'm fucked. I think that was, although that looked quite clunky, I think that was about as good as it went in PB there, so now I've just got to kill the final boss. Can't remember if I've just passed one of the symbols. I did, it's fine. Should be okay there. That didn't seem fair. I got hit by one of his projectiles, which is so rare. If you're just running around that it hits you. So I lost a bit of time there. Not much, but you know. It's kind of annoying. It's not going to be sub 37, I don't think. It's close though. Yeah, it's not. At least it was a gold, so I'm happy with that. That was because I did the boss skips in the middle, like, relatively quick. I cut off the, um, run around the edge. Nice! 
so I don't think I can beat that. Even though there was mistakes at the start, the clips, the, like the floor clips, the door clips, whatever, were so fast, generally. It would be so nice to get a 36, but that's tough. That is tough. for the GG's Rob. <laughs> Super duper. Well, I didn't think I would PB, but I actually did have a few time saves that I didn't realize. Nice to get a PB with my mic on as well, so that's always fun. 